Hello, hello, hello. This is Donna Reiners, and I am here for Peter in the know. In the know with Peter No. It's pretty kind of interesting. I like his name. I really do. It is definitely fun. He mixed up his scheduling just a titch, and so he asked me if I could please do pinch hitting at the last minute, and I was able to, so I'm really glad to be here, and I'm glad you're all here. And I thank God for each one of you. So, okie doke. And I am just opposite Peter. I have notes, although, you know, he has notes. They're just on the side where you can't see them. <laughs> I love him. So I have my notes as well, because that's how I roll. So otherwise I go out on tangents, so. I want to just remind all of us that we, um, we're we always going to have bumps in the road because that's real life. Real life does include bumps in the road and how we respond to those bumps is definitely how we uh, not only find out what we're made out of, but we find out the fruit that can come later if we don't give up and if we don't give in to those thoughts and ideas that want us to turn back. And thoughts do want us to turn back because you probably have some big goals. I know I have some big goals. I have some goals that have to do with family and all sorts of things. And so today I want to share with you what's usually on my heart is find your own why. It's important to know what your why is, not what Peter's why is, not what your upline's why, uh, why is, not what your friend's why is, but really your why. And the why is what keeps you in the middle of the night when the bump in the road comes, right? Your why keeps you when everybody turns against you or when it seems like the world is against you, which means, you know, things are coming down the, the pipeline in your health or um, the economy or family situations and all those kind of things, right? Real, real life. And so in the midst of our real life, we have this beautiful business called LifeWave where we have we get to help people with their health and with their wealth. And so it requires focus. It requires having priorities. It requires having real goals. It requires organizing. And it requires what to do when you're overwhelmed. I talk to a lot of people that get overwhelmed. And you know what? It's not always life wave that makes them overwhelmed. Sometimes it's just their life. Life can make us overwhelmed. So how do we respond to life when we're overwhelmed, right? So along the way, we're learning things about ourselves. We're developing ourselves along the way. And we're loving people along the way. Isn't it interesting that we are in a business where we can talk about loving people? Even men talk about loving people in LifeWave, y'all. That is just kick butt to me. I just love it. And this is a billion dollar business, right? Multi-million dollar people that talk about loving one another. And that is what makes our business really stand apart to me, you know? And along the way, while you're loving people, you get to discover who you are. You did discover why you're on the planet and what you're gonna do about it, right? And so if you don't have a pen and paper uh, with you, you know how Marcy trains us, always have your notepad, always have your book. I have my book, but my, um, with me, well, I have multiple books, but that's okay. I have multiple books for all sorts of things that I have going on in life. And I, I want you to write down, if you haven't recently written down your why, I want you to write down your own why. Really, what is your why? You know, and I'm, I want, I'm gonna tell you my whys. Um, for some, this might be a little private, but for me, I think it's normal to share. I'm pretty, um, pretty blatantly honest about my life, you know. I have a few whys. One is I would like to replace my husband's income so he doesn't have to work as hard, right? I'm 61. He'll be 60 coming here soon. Yes, he married a younger woman or an older woman. And um, I would just like to do that because for us, we're thinking about retirement. And do you know, this is just a little... Um, a little something that came to us recently. 
we're working with some friends that have some neurological issues and we're trying to help them through life. And we learned in this uh, discovery with helping people that, did you know that in Medicare, did you know that Medicare does not pay for dental? It doesn't pay for eyes and it doesn't pay for ears. So for us older people from here on up, we are uncovered when it comes to financial um, financial help in our latter years. And I am so thankful we have a product that helps our bodies become healthier in our latter years. But even so, there are things that come down the road. We still need to have our, our sometimes we still need to get our teeth, change, have some changes in our teeth, have an appointment tomorrow morning, as a matter of fact, to get some teeth replaced. If some of you have noticed some odd things with my teeth, I'm getting that fixed tomorrow. Um, our eyes, we have things that happen with our eyes. We have things that happen with our ears. It takes money to handle those things in our latter years, y'all. It takes real money. It is not cheap to go to the doctor. And so I, that's one of my goals is as we're growing older to be able to take care of ourselves financially. I think that's a good goal to be able to take care of ourselves, to not have to wait two years to go to the doctor because it's taken us two years to just save up for the co-pays. And, you know, we all know someone, and it may even be you, that has that situation where you have to save up to do specific things. So I want to replace income. I want to be able to pay for insurance if I need it, as I want it, although I do it mostly holistic, I have to admit. I want to be able to bless my family with tools in the health section. I'm, I'm the, old, uh, the youngest. I'm the baby in my family at 61. And we have some health challenges. And so I want to be able to help my family with different tools. These are my goals. What are your goals? What are your goals? Write down your goals. I also want to help my sister. She has a dream. And she has given up years to take care of our older sister. She's been her caregiver for almost 25 years, y'all. That's a long time to care for someone in the... Um, including some of the private things you have to do when you're really caring for someone's actual body. So that's a long time. And I, I just want to position myself to be able to help her. And also I want to keep growing. I want to keep stepping into my own unknown self. I want to continue getting to know myself. I want to continue to discover my own strengths. I have some book writing goals. I have some all, sor all sorts of things that are in my heart as well. So write down what's in your heart, what you want to accomplish. Because if you can know that, and listen, it's not always just about other people. It's also about you. You know, God loves all of us. And, and loving yourself, loving yourself, um, when you really truly love yourself unconditionally, can forgive yourself unconditionally. Do you know the fruit of that is you love other people unconditionally? You forgive other people unconditionally. Doesn't mean you put don't put your guard up sometimes, but it means your heart is clear to love other people no matter what. That comes from loving you. And so if you have some goals that you want, please don't be afraid to write them down. You're worth it. You're worth it. And your hard-earned work, your hard-earned time, your effort, your energy, all that you put forth in this kind of business, which is people business, which is patching business, all these things that you put forth, you are worth also having goals that you want to accomplish. And, and I, it, it may be men too. So just, if it's not you as a man, just give me a second. All you women that sacrifice and sacrifice and sacrifice and sacrifice Maybe you had children and so you waited till your children were out of diapers to be able to have a life. And then you realize, oh my God, I can't have a life now either. And then you wait till they're in school to have a life and you're like, oh my God, I can't even have a life now either. They're always calling in sick. I got to go. And then maybe you think, well, when they get out of school, but then they want to go to, and, and then, and then, and then, and then listen, our kids are in their thirties. It still is something that we all get to participate in. <laughs> and so I want you to write down. What's important to you, even if, if it doesn't make sense to you, because you're important. And so then, uh, and, and that takes courage. 
you know, it takes courage to really think through and wonder, what do I really want? And now my question is, what do you want in 90 days? And now I do, I do want to, I want to shift it a little, I want to shift it to LifeWave, but listen, LifeWave is our tool. It is our tool to accomplish our dreams, right? It's a tool. LifeWave is not our dream. LifeWave is a tool to accomplish our dreams. Does that make sense to y'all? You know, our love affair is not with LifeWave. Our love affair and our, our love is what is it we're going to gain from this business called LifeWave? Where is it going to take you? Where do you want to go? What effort are you willing to give it? What do you want for you? And now what do you want for those that are walking out life with you? Perhaps you have a team. Perhaps you have some friends. Perhaps you have, you have some family. Maybe you have your sight set on a city. My heart's always set on a city. I'd love to just have a whole city. You know, just a whole city lit up and fired up on patches. That to me is just freaking awesome, you know? But what is, write down 90 days, write down six months, write down one year, write down three years, write down five years. You know, I know that we have some medical professionals on this call, and I bet that they had to have goals when they were moving forward in, in their, before they even reached to their career where they were called a, a doctor of this or a doctor of that. It took effort. It took goals. It took goal setting. It took tests. It took all sorts of things along the way, little goals, big goals along the way. And so my bottom line is what do you want to do with your life? Because guess what? We are in the six months in the year, six months into this year of 2024, y'all. So as patching the patching business as your tool, to accomplish your dreams, let's look at a few practical things. Many of you probably understand these things, know these things, but I'm going to just bring to the table just a very few practical things. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but I want to remind us that there are practical things that we need to reach the people we want to reach, to open the accounts that we want to open, to change the lives we want to change, and that kind of thing. Okay, so I want to first, this simple thing, and those of you will know, you'll go, oh, I know what this is. I know what this is, and you'll probably laugh with me. I'm repositioning my phone, y'all. I said I was going to try to do this. Yes, let me share my, um, I, let me share my screen also now, because I'm doing the Facebook and this. I am multi, multi-dimensional here, y'all. Share my screen. Okay. And voila, what do we have? We have the clipboard. Yay for the clipboard. We have a system in place, y'all. A system in place to help us all be successful. And so I just want to quickly go through what we call the clipboards. And we won't be here for a long time, but I just want to remind us, this clipboard is found on start333biz.com. Uh, we have a clipboard. Um, one of the, the PDFs we have is called What to Expect, where it goes through the first few days, the, within a few weeks, within six weeks, within three months, within six months, within 12 months. Get, can you see that there's goals on there? Can you see how systematic the body can be and what it wants to do in our lives? Let's be in agreement and be just as systematic in the goals we have in our lives. So these are the things that we can expect for our body to obtain when we have our master cells moving and repairing on our behalf. And what is the system? The system is sending someone to a podcast. And on the back of that beautiful card called What to Expect, which is called a mini card, which now we have five by sevens of as well. We, you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and, and Thursdays. You actually have podcasts that you can send people to, to let them experience how patching works, including testimonials, including training. 
and including even fun virtual patching party and science. What beautiful ways to send not just guests, but to send your team to so they get accomplished in finding the podcast and sending other people to the podcast so that we are all supporting the podcast, but also supporting this wonderful business we have, which is telling people about their health and helping people obtain a new wealth. So that's one I want to show you. The next in the clipboard I want to show you is the power of the patch with um, the before and after tracker, where you can show this to people on the fly. I keep mine in a bag. I also have some in my purse. I have some in my backpack. I have some in a box in my home. I have them in my car because you never know when you're going to meet someone. The minute when you think, you know, I don't need that today. I'm going to do X, Y, Z. That's the day you're going to meet five people and you wish you had something with you that you can show somebody something, right? This is not sales. This is sharing your life and your heart and the lives of others. And what's so fun to me is that we know some of the people on this um before and after tracker. That's fun when you can say, hey, you know what? I know this person. Her name's Marcy. Hey, I know this person. This person lives in Huntsville. I know his wife. Oh, I know this person. Uh, la, 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 la. So that, this is fun to me. And also on the back of it, you have the symptoms of aging checklist. How beautiful is that? You can turn that around and you can help people see how measurable we are as a company. Because, you know, science is normally measurable, isn't it? Because some people have the idea, oh, that's an mlm -E. Oh, that's an MLM thing. Oh, really? You know, well, we are in the direct sales business, but this technology business is quite something. Look at what we can track. And you turn that thing around. And then another part of the clipboard is our... Um, the sheet that talks about the X39 and the health benefit on the front and also the back where it talks about usage, very similar to the before and after tracker. And then we have the order form, the power of the patch order form, where you can literally show them what comes in their wholesale packs. And when you look at that, th that's a lot that can come in some wholesale packs and that's a lot of choices they have. These are wonderful tools that we have. We have an all products flyer. Look at that flyer, how professional that is. These, this is a compliant flyer, guys. You can take this and you can sit with someone and you can help them one-on-one -on -one with that little card you pulled out of your purse or you took out of the back of your uh, trunk. Say, hey, look, I think I could help you. Let me share with you how this works. You don't even have to have the patches with you necessarily, but if you have this with you, you can talk through it and you are going to appear very knowledgeable, very educated, and like you know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, this will certainly make you seem like you do know what you're doing. And that's all anybody wants. They want you to be secure. They want you to be confident and that will draw people to you. And the next is our wonderful sharing envelope, the power of the patch. This is brilliant. And all our little mini cards fit inside. We have uh, the small ones. And then we now we have the five by sevens. And they're really, really are beautifully um, created for you. And then we also have the benefits of GHKQ copper peptides that goes through skin and hair, lung protection, um, fast growing cells, brain and nerves, antioxidant power, and that kind of thing. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you because you know you are equipped right now with tools to help you be systematically successful, whether you are working from your car as your office, whether you are working from your home as your office, whether you are working a full-time job already, where your days are eight to five or your days are eight to 10. And then you only have a little bit of a time to share no matter what um, lifestyle you're living right now, there's room for you to use the tools to help you be successful. So I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be greatly, greatly encouraged. Okay. 
The next thing I want to go over is talking to you about your dreams this year. Um, I don't know about you, but Punta Cana is coming up, y'all. And so let's talk a little bit about Punta Cana, shall we? Here we go. I'm going to make this a little larger. And I want to share. And I want to tell you, we, we met about this today. We, we met and we talked about the trip that we have coming up. And if you've never won a trip before, I want you to know that there's still time for you to win this one. There really is time. If you've never won anything before, I, listen, I, I had never won anything before and I have won a trip from LifeWave before. And it was so exciting to win a trip. I was in like the top 30 for Aruba. And it was mind blowing because honestly, at the time, I, I didn't even know that there was a trip going on because in my back of my mind, I didn't even realize here, I'm going to stop sharing for just a second. I'm going to talk for a second. I, I didn't even really realize that I could do it. I didn't think in my brain, it, it wasn't in the back of my head simmering that I could go to Aruba. So I don't know where you're at in your process of what you could win or not win or do or not do, but it wasn't in my mind. And then I was at a, a doctor's office who happened to also be in the Lifeway business. And she said to me, you know, we're neck and neck for Aruba, don't you? And I said, what are you talking about? She said, yeah, we're neck and neck. You're 20, um, let's see, I think she said, you're 26 and I'm 25. I said, what are you saying? She said, girl, get out your office. Well, I happen to have my computer with me because I carry my office with me everywhere. Pulled out my backpack, got my computer. I said, show me what you're talking about. And sure enough, I'm like, are you kidding me? How fun is that? And so, and that was without me trying because I just was doing what I do every day, see? So whatever you're doing every day, be encouraged, but now set some intention to it. Just set some intention to it. So you can do it. And we talked about this today in our meeting that it is doable. And why is it doodle, do, doodable? Why is it doodable? Why is it doable? It's doable because of how generous the company is and what we already have going for us. So let me go back to sharing. Let me share a little bit of that because I want you to put it on the table. I want you in your mind right now, you see this pretty picture here? I hope you can see it with that beautiful pool and those beautiful um, coconut trees and palm trees and all those things. I want you to vision, envision yourself there and don't envision yourself, don't not envision yourself because you're afraid if you envision yourself, you'll never do it. You know, having goals and listen, this is the thing. This is the crazy part. When, when you when you have a goal, look, I grew up not having any goals. I grew up not having goals because I have very low self-esteem. I had very little belief in myself. And, I didn't, and no one really around me had any belief in me either. And so I didn't even have a mindset where I would even set a goal. And so for me, this business has been extremely rewarding because I stepped into a new me. And so maybe you've always set goals. If so, then this could be easy for you. If you haven't and, and you think, well, this isn't doable. I don't know. I'm just telling you it, it is doable. It is doable, but it does require some work, right? It requires a little bit of work. So let's talk about the qualification was April 29th to September 1. Punta Cana, Dominican, Dominican. If I can say it, I can go to it, right? Dominican Republic which is set for November 6th through the 12th. So maybe you can write down on a piece of paper, November 11th, 6th to 11, 12th, 2024. Put in the middle of a piece of paper and then let's consider what it would take for you to get there. So let's look at, did you see me switch the, um, switch the screen? I hope so. So let's look at the goals it takes. It may not be big enough for you to see. Let me see. There we go. I'm not going to go. I'm, I'm going to actually put this link in the um, in the back office. 
so that you can draw it up and look at it. I think you'll be able to open it. I'm pretty sure. If not, maybe I can just download it and then I can get it to you. We'll see. <clears throat> okay. So you get points for everyone you personally sponsor. You can find out what they are when you look it up. I want you to take action. You get points for everyone you upgrade, at least for the silver, gold, and diamonds. You get points for personal enrollments of a preferred customer, preferred customer plus. You get points for rank advancement. If you advance in your rank, you get points for personal enrollments who rank advance. And you get points if you will maintain the rank uh, of your, your own rank, your, like your lifetime rank. So if you're a director right now, then you get a point every week through to, to up, to, up to the time to September 1 for that. So if you know you can maintain your rank easily, go ahead and write that down, write all those points down. And that's your starting number, y'all. And if you already have people that you know are um, uh, have the in incentive and they, they, they're like, I want to do this, then you can start writing down those points and just see how doable it is. So 60 points gets you two tickets with one flight, one flight reimbursement and 85 points gets you two tickets and two flight reimbursements. And you have until now till September 1. This is a possibility for you. And then the qualifications, you can find all about all the qualifications and all the details. You can find it yourself by going into um, that area. And I will try to put it up in just a second. Okay, let me move my screen around. Let me stop my share. Give me a moment. And I'm going to keep going. Does anyone think they can go to Punta Cana? Does anyone? 88 days left, 85 points. I absolutely raised my hand and said I would. Yay. That's awesome. I'm so thankful. And so let's keep moving. Let me just hold on. I have a couple more things I want to share with you. It's going pretty fast. So that's good. I definitely want you to download the chart. I'm going to go ahead and move, uh, move my little thing here too. I know this going live business, it sure changed it, changed things for us, didn't it? When we couldn't take our Zoom online anymore, <laughs> but that's all right. It is okie dokie smoky. Okay. And so you have goals to go. So the goals that you need to uh, produce, what you need to do is you need to download and what LifeWave has to tell you what to do. You need to download it so you can look at it. And there's also a specific uh, chart that was created. You know, you have a chart that is created for you to be able to use to actually chart all your points on a weekly basis. And so you should be able to do it. Just treat it like it's kind of your job, right? And prioritize, you know, what is it that you need to do in order to obtain this little goal. And in the and there's also the fact that you have big goals. We talked about LifeWave is your tool, right? So prioritizing yourself so you can obtain these goals, organizing yourself so you can actually get stuff done. And so remembering that we have a system, you know, the cards I showed you, the the um those, those downloadable files, those downloadable PDFs, you know, that's part of the system at start333biz.com. And, and Jen, maybe you can just put start333biz.com in the, in the chat and also put in the login and password if someone has not been there. If they've never been there, maybe they've never been to Marcy's foundational training and they're unsure or uncertain. It's a great place to explore because we have tools that we all use to help us all be successful. And so organizing yourself and exploring that will be very, very good for you. Shoot, I keep exploring. The other day I was on a call and it had changed so much. So I was having trouble finding things. And Jen's like, well, here it is. Jenny's like, here it is. I'm like, oh, and I didn't have my other screen working. So I couldn't do it on my little laptop. So I was like, I can't even find it, but it's there y'all. 
when you're not doing a Zoom at the same time, you can find it easily. <laughs> so Marcy talks a lot about scheduling. Um, I want to encourage you to have your own way of scheduling yourself, your own way of having a calendar, you know, um, having a calendar can reflect your work habits. It can be very helpful. And so this was really on my heart is, and, and I, it may apply to someone. I feel like it will because it just has just continued to come to my mind is, is helping you if you feel overwhelmed. And I'm just, you know, y'all, y'all know me. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit personal with life, but there were years I lived from a place and in a place called overwhelm. And when I got overwhelmed and the reason I got overwhelmed is because I had a lot of body trauma. I had a lot of things from my past. I didn't even know why I was overwhelmed. That included deaths in my family. That included accidents in my family, that included things that happened to me when I was young. And so when I got overwhelmed, I would do something called shutting down. So for me, shutting down meant I would go take a bath. I would go take a shower. I would go take a walk. I would go lay down. You know, I would just basically walk away from whatever the situation was and not be available. Why? Because I, I had a, I had a mechanism in place to protect me from being overwhelmed. I don't know if you have anything in your life that happens to you, then an automatic kick in when you're overwhelmed, but here's a thought on what to do when you're overwhelmed. So this might seem a little crazy, but it's just an idea, y'all. I'm just shooting some things out here for you. <laughs> what if you create a new response to what you do when you get overwhelmed? Now, if you will go ahead and write down, I, I want us to do something in our time together. I, I, I want you to organize some thoughts and prioritize your thoughts. And I, I want to show you how you can turn to your calendar when you're overwhelmed. Now, if your calendar is empty, meaning you're not scheduling appointments, you're not scheduling calls, you're not going to meetings, you're not calling people, you're just kind of stuck. Maybe you would be in a place called shutdown. Maybe you don't even know what to do. Maybe you hear these messages all the time, but on the inside of you, you're like, you know, I can't tell anybody that I really don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe you're embarrassed. Maybe you're like, oh my goodness, I'm a grown up and I don't even know what to do, you know? So I just want to encourage you. So I want you to trust a new process so that you won't be overwhelmed. And I want you to write down. So I, I want you to, to um, now listen. I want you to write down everything that's on your heart, like everything. If you want to take a piece of paper, you want to take it in your calendar, your computer, whatever you want to do. I want you to just one day, I want you to sit and I just want you to close your eyes, take a deep breath. And I want you to look at all your overwhelm and all your mess in your mind that keeps you from going forward. Whether it's sweeping the floor, changing a diaper of an adult or a child, cleaning out the attic, fixing something in the garage or calling 20 people, whatever it is, I want you to write down everything that's in your mind. And granted, you might be writing for an hour or two. I'm pretty detailed in my brain. Like overwhelm. Yeah. Most people would be overwhelmed just with spending five minutes with me, to be honest, because I'm so detailed, but I want you to take everything that's on your heart and I want you to write it all out. And then I want you to look at it and I want you to ask yourself, what, where do I see themes that would go together? And then I want you to just take maybe a yellow marker or something. And I want you to like highlight the things that go together. Like this goes with this, this goes with this. Goes, maybe there's five things that are all about outdoors. I see Annie DeCoker. I keep looking at her and I'm like, yeah, that crazy, beautiful woman. You know, she is crazy to fly high, man. She's amazing. But so I want you to, uh, I said that because some people would only dream of doing some of the things she does. You know, they would only dream of it because they're like, it takes so much courage. 
I want you to write down things and I want you to yellow highlight things that all look together. Maybe there's things that are outdoors, indoors. Um, maybe some of them have to do with social activities. Maybe some of them have to do with um, family. Just color code everything that, that looks alike. And then I want you to look at it and I want you to take three goals from it. Just take three. Take three. And, and most of them will probably require some prioritizing of your time. They'll require probably some finances. Most of my goals need finances. I'm just telling you straight up. Most of my goals require finances <laughs> because I have some goals and they just require money to do them. And I want you, whether they're small or big, write them all out. And I want you to be accountable to yourself. And I, I want you to really identify the core theme. Find out what's in your mind. Find out what's in your heart. Maybe you haven't done that in a long, long time. Maybe you've forgotten that you have purpose in your life. Listen, we get on these calls. We don't know each other's lives. We don't know what people are going through. We don't know what you're doing from seven o'clock in the morning till midnight every day. You can have somebody is the most successful person in business and, and you don't even know. They may have total chaos behind their, behind their door number three. You don't know, right? Because we don't know one another personally, most, most of us. So don't be embarrassed or af afraid to confront yourself and look at yourself and find out what is the core theme in your mind. And then I want you to pull out your goals and look at them because I guarantee you have some things in your mind that are part of your goals. They're part of things you want for your entire life. And then what you want to do is you want to, you want to identify what is it going to take to accomplish those goals. Because I almost guarantee that for the one big goal that might be written down, there's probably 10 other things in, in those lists that you made that are probably part of that one big goal. Put all that together and start co columnize instead of colonize. Columnize these areas. Take a few hours. You're worth it to prioritize your mind, to organize your heart, and give yourself time to really write it out and then choose choose something, one of those goals to do in one of those months of your calendar. Allow yourself time to do it. Allow yourself time to sabotage yourself. You know you, you might still be shutting down and running away sometimes, you know? Nobody's gonna know you take a you take a nap between the call that's at two and the call that's six. Nobody knows, you know, what you're doing in your private time. So make allowances for yourself for where you know you're going to be overwhelmed. You know, make allowances for yourself where you know you're going to be distracted or you know you're going to have emergencies or you know you have family issues or you know you have self issues or whatever. And then I, I want you to really decide what do you want to work on and if what you want to work on, is it doable? Is it realistic? Is it measurable? And is it for this year or is it for next year? When is it for? Because remember, LifeWave is your tool. So in the middle of, of all that you're writing down, LifeWave is going to need a nugget of time to accomplish those goals because some of those goals require income. Or maybe some of those goals require helping people. Maybe that's part of what so drives you on the inside of you. So make room in the midst of all these things for making calls, for sending people to the podcast. I, I really encourage you. Yes, I love it. I love it. Goals have smart. That's right. I taught on smart um, two times ago and I taught on PAC last time on the smart goals. That's right. Make sure they're measurable. Make sure they're doable. Make sure they're realistic. And LifeWave as your tool, look at what you can get accomplished. Now, let's go back to Punta Cana for a minute. If you're a leader, you want to be able to, you want to want to go to Punta Cana. You know, you do. You want to want to go. Maybe inside you're like, yeah, I don't care. I can buy my own way, whatever. Well, you know, maybe so. But if you have a team of people, there might be one person there who might want to go and it would really encourage them if you wanted to go, right? It would encourage them. It would encourage you. And this is what I have realized. When you have a goal 
let's say you have a goal to go to Punta Cana and let's say you need to enroll 10 golds. I don't know. And, and let's say that, you know, you come shy too and you don't get to go. Well, guess what? You know, you, you still enrolled eight golds and that's $800. Listen, this is a win-win business. This is a win-win business. So have an expectancy. Do, can you have a very specific expectation? You sure can. There's nothing wrong with having specific expectations. I prefer to lean into the expectancy that something good is around door one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 to 100, you know? An expectancy. I used to just believe that around the corner was a big bad boom. I lived my life with an expectation that I would be tripped up that I would get sick or whatever. And I have had to renovate that part of my mind to have an expectancy of good instead of horror, instead of torment. Maybe there's someone there. You recognize you have some kind of um, tainted expectation and maybe it needs to shift so that you can see the win-win in all these situations that come your way. Because we all have real life we're dealing with, y'all. Like real life. And discover along the way what, what motivates you. You know, maybe if you're, a, you know, the five love languages and all that jazz. You know, if, if one of your, let's say one of your um, motivations are words of encouragement. And, and you just really like thrive on other people giving you words of encouragement. Can I just encourage you today to make a new decision and you be the person that gives you the words of encouragement? That you start writing down the words that you would want to hear and write them down to yourself. Even write yourself a letter, write yourself a note, put it on a big old blackboard, billboard, rent a billboard if you want to, but write it all down for you. Write it down for you and be your greatest yaysayer. Maybe you're a naysayer. But you need to be a yaysayer and you need to be your own yaysayer. Okay, your own yaysayer. And so start writing those things down. Maybe you love acts of service. What if you decided ju just for a month, maybe 30 days, what if you decided instead of in, in, um, stepping into a place where you're serving other people because it makes you feel alive, what if in your brain, Step out of yourself, put yourself over here and start serving yourself. Start serving yourself. Pretend like you're somebody else that you're serving and have those acts of kindness and that acts of service go toward you so that you are focused. So that you're not waiting for something to encourage you. You're not waiting for something to help you get moving. You're not waiting for something to inspire you, but you become your own inspiration. Because many people, they want a running partner. They want a business buddy. But when that doesn't come, you give up. Or you say, well, I just can't do it. Or I'm not going to be able to do it. But if you'll reposition what you're thinking, then you can do it. And you can be your own yaysayer. And you know what will happen when you start writing things, these things down, when you start accomplishing these things, do you know you're going to have less stress? Some of you have a lot of stress, just a lot of stress. And you need less stress in order to move forward in life. You need less stress. So you're going to, you're going to want to be smart about your goals. You're, you're, you're going to want to have a well-defined, clear goal that's unambiguous. It's clear and it's measurable. Uh, earlier, the gentleman talked about smart goals. You know, it's got to be measurable. It's got to be achievable. It's got to be relevant. It's got to be timely. You know, make sure what you pull out in your theme that you're writing down, make sure it is achievable. Make sure it's aligned with what you, the reason you're doing LifeWave, right? You're doing LifeWave. LifeWave is your tool. LifeWave is to, supposed to serve you. You're not, you're, you're being, LifeWave is supposed to be your servant. Money is our servant. We are not money servant. Money is our servant. LifeWave 
is here for us to use it as a tool for us to fulfill what's inside of our heart. And some of us have huge dreams and maybe you just need healthcare. This is a means to that. Maybe you just want to go on a vacation. This is a means to that. Maybe you want friends. This is a means to that. Expect Expectancy, expectancy, expectancy. I want to look into the chat because I saw something. I'm pretty sure that I wanted to, um, I got to find it though. Hold the horses. Hold the horses. Oh, good. Thank you for those of you who are putting links. Okay, Bob says, take a picture of your goal, paste it on your refrigerator. So every time you open the fridge, you see your goal and you're reminded. I love that. And if you're working on a diet, put one on the fridge and put it inside the fridge so you face it once you open up the fridge. <laughs> Sorry, I got to have a little bit of humor, y'all. I really do. Let's see. Yep, goals are smart, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, time-bound. Stretching you. Amen. Very good. What about the doors one and two? Go back to your back office, scroll down, you'll find it bottom left. You know, I did go to my back office for Punta Cana, and you can see your points, but they're two weeks behind y'all. So really it pays for you to keep track of your own um, your own points. It pays to keep track of them for you. You can't let somebody else be responsible for that. That's like trusting whatever the bank says about your account is accurate. When, you know, if they're three cents off every week, that can add up to a little bit of money or a, a dollar off. I mean, all that can come into some real money eventually. And it's your money. Those are your points. Keep track with your own points. It's just smart. Heidi says she's committed to 88 days for 85 points. Good for you. I love that. And wait till you get to 85, 85 and 85. Woohoo. How fun. I have a question about rank advancement. Let's say I'm director for 14 weeks but miss one week, do I lose those 14 points? That is an excellent question. So let's just see, shall we? I I think, hold on. I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna switch to the um, since you asked a solid question that has to do with um, well, I was gonna try to share my screen, but you know what? It's not allowing me to share my screen. Well, that's pretty odd. Oh no, here it is. Sorry. Yeah, pay attention, Donna. All right. Let's just see about that question. Okay. Here is... <clears throat> okay. Rank, maintenance of lifetime rank. Manager, director, senior director, one point per paid per week paid as. So you're paid as it. That's the issue paid. Executive director, presidential, senior presidential, presidential two points per week paid as. Now, let's see if that question is answered down below, shall we? I'm pretty sure you are paid for every week. So let's say one week goes one week that you're not paid. I'm 99.99% I'm positive you are still paid for all those other weeks. Maintaining the rank that you are. Now, listen, if you are advanced a, a rank in this uh, situation over the next few months, and when you advance that rank, that you need to maintain that rank. So when you start advancing to move forward, that rank, you need to maintain that new rank. And that will put a little bit more challenge on you, right? Especially if you're moving for senior director, paid as, the paid as rank, right? So you're moving in, let's say you move into senior director, right? It, which is 10,000 points minimum. You're going to need to kick it into gear to make sure you maintain that 10,000 points. So you're paid at that each week. Just because you say you says you are, it has to make sure you're paid as. That's the difference. So always go into the section where it says promotion in your, in your back office. In the middle, it says promotion. Click on promotion. It'll show you how many points you have. And... I would just be make sure you're recruiting on a weekly basis to maintain and add on. And then also remember upgrades. 
Upgrading will get you points. It not only gets you the points toward the trip, y'all, it gets you that like a gold is uh, 275 points, right? So a silver's 165. When you upgrade silver to gold, you're getting 110 more points. So that could make the difference one week. That would make a difference in, in a month's time, maybe, of you staying the rank of senior director or not, see? All the points really, really, truly do matter. They matter. Every point. Every point. That's why I was laughing back to the Aruba thing when she said, you were neck and neck. I was 26 and she was 25 because I wasn't competitive, you know? And I'm like, well, but she sure was. I'm like, well, all righty then. <laughs> I think I ended up being 28 or 29. So I was still in the top 30 and that was fun. I'd never won anything in my entire life. So it was really a lot of fun to do that. And so I'm really hoping with intention, this is the case this time as well, right? And so we can all mark our intention, but at the end of the day, it's a win-win because every step you take toward it is money in your pocket and money in your team's pocket. So it's a win-win, guys. I hope that answered your question, Bobby. It is a cumulative per... It, I had no idea what you're saying there. Maintain the highest rank. Yep. I did. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> and then, uh, okay. Bye-bye. They left. Yep. Vision board. You're correct. You know, and you know what? There's nobody better to make a vision board for you, but you, you know, it may not look like the fancy vision board, but somebody makes where you have all the beautiful magazine things. Maybe you just need to get a, um, uh, what are they called? You know, the big piece of the paper you get that you use when you were a kid, those things. I have them in the out, outside, but I'm having trouble thinking about it. Yep. And get, get some permanent markers out. You know, me, I'm color coded. You know, get some color markers out and just write it out. I want to go here. I want to go here. I want this. I want this. I want to buy this. I want to buy this. I need this for my health. I need I need to go get infusions that cost this amount, right? I need to be able to pay for this. Uh, my family needs this or what have you. Write it all out. And then if you have some cool pictures you want to put with it to make it fancy, go for it. But I find writing the words is what clicks in my mind. And then put some visual pretty pictures to it to help you have a visual for it. Poster board. Thank you so much, Bob. You are just reading my mind. <laughs> so listen, I don't know how many people are into visualization. You know, uh, I have some people that think it's kind of crazy and that's okay. But I, I think the imagination can be used for, for good, don't you? Don't you? We can certainly use the imagination in some negative ways. We get inundated by things on social media. If you watch TV, you get inundated by things on TV. I always mute the commercials, right? You get inundated if you listen to talk radio, inundated because you want to hear either conservative or the non-conservative news and it's just bombarding you. So it's all impacting the way you think. It's impacting how you're programmed. And I guarantee... There's more unbelief, I'm talking unbelief, that you're listening to than belief if you are plugged in to any of those pathways I just talked about, right? So I want you to make a, a decision to visualize yourself as successful and powerful. Can you visualize yourself going to Hawaii? Sure. That's awesome. I have a vision wall. If I see a picture that inspires me, I print it. Excellent. Very good. But I, I want each one of you to just, you know, I, I saw this earlier. And so I want each one of you to close your eyes and envision yourself as powerful. Now you can think I'm crazy, but what if one of you wants to look like Wonder Woman, old school Wonder, Wonder Woman with Linda, right? Or the new Wonder Woman who's flat dog gorgeous, or maybe Iron Man, you know, or one of these superheroes that we know that David Schmidt loves. Why don't you choose what you want to emulate? Or maybe it's a, a family member that you think is so powerful and so wonderful. 
So I want you to visualize yourself as powerful. Visualize yourself as loving yourself completely unconditionally, forgiving yourself completely unconditionally, believing yourself completely unconditionally, believing in you, trusting in you, trusting yourself, trusting yourself. Can you trust yourself? So deep breath. And of course, it's hilarious to me. Do you know who popped in my head was Popeye the Sailor Man? Oh, my stars. Can you just imagine? I'm the generation who grew up with Popeye the Sailor Man who cussed like a crazy person, had strange little, only, only got muscles when he ate spinach and smoked a pipe. So that's the generation I grew up in. But that's coming to my mind. And then he had his sweet, his sweet girl with him, right? So I'm going to switch that intention to a different kind of hero. <laughs> and I'm going to close with one other thing. Listen, um, about a month and a half ago, my husband and I were um, talking across the way with each other and we weren't having a disagreement. But our voices are falling flat. So what do I mean? Hey, what are you doing? I'm, I want you to say out loud to yourself. Not Don't unmute yourself, but I want you to say out loud to yourself with, with that kind of inflection. What are you doing? Do you feel how down that is? What are you doing? Or what if you said, hey, what are you doing? Now everybody say that. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, I see Nancy say it. Hey, what are you doing? Say it out loud. Hey, what are you doing? Hi, how are you? Yay, I love myself. Yay, I love you. Listen, we started changing literally. Hey, honey, how are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, would you like to go out to eat? Hi, huh, honey, would you like me to get you a glass of water? And say, you want some water? Do you want something? I'm going to the kitchen. Do you want something? Seriously, think about it. You know how we really are in real life. Y'all don't lie to me. You know the truth. Now, I do know two people, they're so sugary, sweet to each other, I'm, and they're really real. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, I used to listen to them and think, are you really that? But they really are. And at the time, I thought, that is weird. But now I'm like, wow, God's doing this. Hey, change your tone of voice. I'm like, oh. So can you imagine if you talked to yourself as if you were happy all the time? You know? Like, and, and you ended up talking to other people the same way. And I, I did a teaching about a, a, a right after that in our group, in, uh, in our women's group. And it was all about, hey, smile when you talk to me and smile when you talk to yourself. So I just want to encourage you today to smile when you talk to yourself. Smile when you're thinking about the goals that you have. Smile when you think about the possibilities for your life. Smile when you think about the possibilities for your health. Maybe you're facing a, a very uncomfortable, compromising, seemingly impossible health situation. And nobody knows. Nobody knows on the inside that maybe you've hit a, a block of fear. I want you to start smiling to yourself and say, hey, we got this. Hey, Donna, we got this. Hey, Pamela, we've got this. Hey, Heidi, we've got this. Hey, Denise, we've got this. Hey, Tammy, we've got this. Hey, Nancy, we're, we got this. Hey, Rob, we're going for it. Hey, Tim, let's rock it out. Hey, Bobby, we got this. I want you to start really just amping it up for yourself. That's right. For you, for you. Do it for you, and it will become more automatic for the people around you. Anyway, I bless you guys. I hope today was encouraging and strengthening and you can unmute if you want to and just say, smile when you talk to me. <laughs> I love your smile. Oh. I love your smile. Thank you. Oh, y'all are so welcome. God bless you guys. All of you. Aloha, Donna. Are you willing to give us your phone number? Sure. You can have my phone number. 281-948-9400. Uh, Five six four two. It does. Smiling raises your vibration and frequency and makes your world a happier place. That's right. And you know, we all know 
we've probably all been in a place before where we've just been exhausted and uh, we haven't come across as if we were happy because maybe we're struggling with being quote unquote happy. What if we just told our subconscious and we told our heart and we told our body and we told our tissue and we told our fiber and we told our brain and we told our stomach and we told everything about ourselves on a daily basis. Hey, yes, yes, yes. We're happy. Yes. Even if we're facing impossible odds, because at the end of the day, how we face them many times determines how we finish that part of our race, right? And if we're happier, we will certainly accomplish it uh, in a different way than if we're depressed and discouraged. And so I think y'all are the ones who asked for my number. I'm going, going to uh, chat it with you real quick. And then I'm going to hang up because we're going a, lot, a little bit farther than normal. And anyway, blessings to you all. Thank you so much. Patching podcast. Yes. Anyway, thank you all so much for letting me be with y'all. I'm going to go ahead and um, stop the recording. Love you, Donna. Thank you, bye -bye. Donna. This is thank great. Thank you. Love you guys. Blessings Love to you. all. Right. Uh, good bye -bye. job. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Donna. Thank you all so much. Oh, you're Aloha. welcome, honey. Aloha to you. Bye -bye. Bless you. Bye-bye.